today here at Nexa Land Seminar, we'll discuss about software heritage. It's a project whose mission is to collect, preserve, and share all uh, so software that is publicly available in source code. The project name is born from the observation that software is more and more present in the life of people, and uh, a lot of knowledge is embedded in software, specifically in the source code representation of software itself. That knowledge is important, is part of the information commons that we are building together, and specifically is part of a new software commons that is a novel thing of our time. So that software commons is unfortunately at the risk of being lost forever, as it is exemplified by recent uh, issues with code hosting platform disappearing for business or uh, cracking or uh, other reasons. So the Software Heritage Project the idea is actually to go after all these places that publish uh, source code on the internet and archive them. That is meant to serve different use cases, so scientific use cases where a researcher can flock together and analyze the, uh, the full bunch of uh, software that is available in source code form from a single place. It's meant to cater for cultural needs of preserving our cultural heritage as it is embedded in software. It is meant to serve also industrial use cases where industry needs a way to reference specific version of uh, source code they embed in products and educational needs where uh, educators and computer science and, develop and development teachers of tomorrow will be able to point into the software heritage archive to identify a specific piece of code. The software heritage archive is live today. It's the, the biggest software uh, source code archive in existence, having collected more than 3 billion unique source code files, 800 million commits coming from about 60 million software development projects. People can contribute in a number of ways by uh, coding for us, given all we do is free and open source software, by contributing to our working groups, and specifically of interest for the Nexa people, by helping us with the legal and policy issue reflections that we need to tackle to actually archive source code in the very long run. Thanks to Nexa for having me here today.